The Princess and the Pea isn't the first folktale to explore the idea that royalty and high-class people are sensitive sleepers. Hans Christian Andersen based his version on a childhood story he knew growing up, but there's one that's over a thousand years older based in India. Way back in the 11th century, there was a collection of Indian folktales and legends collected called The Ocean of Story, which itself is an adaptation of one even earlier, possibly as far back as the 3rd century. Within this very large collection of folktales is one called The Three Fastidious Men. And it's about three very sensitive boys. But the fairy tales with Ding! Once there was a high-class couple who had three adult sons. I'm the eldest, I'm the middle kid, and I'm the youngest. Their father was preparing a religious sacrifice and he needed a turtle. He sent his three sons to catch the animal. The three brothers found a turtle, but they couldn't decide between the three of them who should actually pick it up and take it home. One of you take it home. I cannot handle that thing. It's slippery and slimy, and you know how sensitive I am about that stuff. Uh, what makes you think we should pick up such a disgusting animal? I'm right here, guys. Uh, don't argue with me. One of you has to bring this turtle home to Dad, and quickly. If you don't, you'll leave him unable to complete the sacrifice, and you'll damn him and you to hell. Um, if that's the case for us, then we'll see you in hell too, buddy. Because you're preventing the sacrifice from happening because of your refusal to pick up the gross, slimy turtle. So we're just gonna keep talking insultingly about me like I'm not here? No, it's different for me! How? Think of what a picky eater I am. I am so fussy with my dinner, I can't be trusted to pick up something so repulsive. Okay, well, I am just as fussy as you are. How are you fussy? I'm fussy about the ladies. What the fuck does that mean? Like, I can smell things about a woman that no other man can smell, and let me tell you, some of the bitches you bring home are nasty. This smells like bullshit to me. Fine then, baby brother can take it. What? I am the fussiest of the three of us. I can't sleep if the tiniest thing is messing with my soft and cozy man bed. Seriously, dude? Yeah, and my sensory issue is touch-related, so obviously I'm the worst choice to pick up that slimy, gross, nasty turtle! Okay, obviously we all need someone else to settle this. Let's leave the turtle for now and ask the king for advice. Haha, -ha, suckers! Everything's coming up, turtle! So tell me about the dispute we're settling today. Your Highness, three brothers want you to decide which of them is the most sensitive. What? Okay, King, here's the deal. My brothers and I are supposed to bring back this gross, icky turtle to our dad, so that he can make his religious sacrifice and avoid sin. But the three of us are all insistent that we're the most sensitive and fussy of the bunch and cannot touch that gross, slimy turtle! Cancel all my plans! This is now my top priority. What I'm going to do is I'm going to give each of you a test based on your supposed sensitivity. First up, the picky eater. Time for dinner. Ugh. Oh my god. I cannot even with this rice. I provided you with the best food in the land. What is the problem? This rice smells like death. What are you talking about? It smells fantastic. <laughs> Officers, where was this rice obtained from? Actually, this crop of rice was grown near a cremation site. Nailed it! Now for the middle brother and his, uh, lady-smelling sensitivity. Bring him the most beautiful woman in court. Hi, handsome. Oh, what is this, a barnyard? Get this bitch away from me, she smells like a goat. She smells great to me. Hey, lady. Tell me about yourself, my dear. Um, actually, I grew up without a mother or a wet nurse, so my family raised me on goat's milk. And now I'm going to have a complex about it for the rest of my life, so thanks for that! Two on two for sharp noses! All right, youngest brother, you're the restless sleeper, right? The king's court made up a bed of seven mattresses with the smoothest, softest sheets and blankets you could ever imagine. But when everyone is asleep in the middle of the night, they heard a terrible screaming. The pain! Look how my beautiful skin has been marked! This man does have a very inflamed and red mark upon his skin. But how? Search the bed. The servants searched each and every mattress. And at the bottom of them all, they found a single hair in the middle of the bed frame. How are you alive, young man? 
It's a mystery. I declare these three brothers to be the most fancy pants, delicate people of all. And for that, I'm gonna give them a shit ton of gold apiece and permanent spots here at court. And the boys completely forgot about the turtle and their dad and that sacrifice they ruined and they stayed with the king. The end. Whenever you're done scrolling for the night, please pop over to the Tree of Links in my biography where you can help my friend Diana and her large family who has been surviving as best they can during the terrible, terrible genocide happening in Gaza.